You are at Lake Rant, where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one is for Boomer Slayer, who says, Hey King, just recently watched your Kari Kano video after writing a long ass review myself, and I couldn't agree with you more about what you said about it. I was wondering, you said that the show is probably the best of Anno as a director. Would you put this show above Neon Genesis Evangelion as a better anime, or does the influence of Ava still raise it above? You know, the thing is that uh, upon... When I was rewatching Ava, when I was doing the individual videos on the episodes, um, after watching the second half of the show, I had been kind of disappointed just because of the fact that I thought those first nine episodes were just so beautifully constructed consistently through. And, you know, seeing some of the places where animation is reused in the second half, some of the places where you can tell that the production was just running into problems and the show just wasn't able to achieve what it had been able to in that first nine episodes or so. Um, you know, and this is from the perspective of um, having not rewatched the second half of the show really since my initial viewing of it in 2006, where it had been my favorite anime for a very long time, but like I couldn't remember it that well because it was one marathon when I was 14, you know? So about to turn 15 I guess but so when I rewatched it it was like I still remembered all the high impact moments from the second half of the show I remembered all the stuff that turns up in all the AMVs you know because I've, I've watched countless Ava AMVs over the years I've rewatched the uh, the one um, that uses uh, the Bohemian Rhapsody live version. It's one of my favorite AMVs of all time. And I've rewatched it countless times. So, like, I'm familiar with a lot of the most impressive stuff in the second half of Ava. It was a lot of the less impressive stuff that I had forgotten about. And so revisiting it, I had felt kind of, like, let down with the second half, even though I still thought it was great. And especially, I really did not enjoy the last two episodes of the show, even though I appreciate them a lot, especially because they were the ones that had really hit me the hardest when I was a kid, when I first watched the show. Um, I really feel like End of Ava is, like, the proper ending. And, like, it's not that I would say you should skip 25 and 26. I think they're interesting for sure. And, like, especially if you're watching it for the first time, obviously you need to watch them. But uh, the, you know, like, the film is just... Uh, leagues better in every conceivable way um and uh, presents a much more interesting ending to the series uh in my opinion that that more fits into the themes whereas the i think the original ending feels like a rushed compromise you know um on the fact that it it couldn't be achieved you know the the, the true vision of what could have been the ending um, or maybe even a lack of understanding, maybe it just wasn't fully thought out yet. Maybe a lot of the better ideas came later. I'm not entirely sure. But whatever the case, on that rewatch, I did not rewatch End of Ava. I did later, um, two years later, when I watched the show with May, showing it to her for the first time and watching the movies, this time baked off of my ass. And I appreciated the second half a lot more because... I was kind of looking at the show from, you know, not the perspective of somebody trying to look for things to analyze about every episode, but from just enjoying it and taking it in as a holistic experience once again and getting to show it to somebody for the first time and kind of, you know, feel the hype and anticipation for this person getting to see these crazy moments that for me I had already known were coming, you know. Um, and so viewing it again that way, I appreciate more the impact of the stuff that is really incredible in the second half. I mean, like, for instance, just, uh, I mean, the, the episodes I always considered the most memorable to me uh, when I was younger were um, uh, episodes, I want to say, 16, 18, and 19, which are the one where Shinji gets trapped inside of the big black ball, and then he tears, the, the Ava tears the fucking thing open to escape it, which is absolutely iconic and was used in every like violence amv of the early 2000s um you know the scene where he has to fight the toji uh controlled ava the one that's like fucking you know been fused with an angel and then the one where he eats the angel in episode 19 and all of those scenes are truly fucking incredible i don't know if anything in kare kano is for me as memorable on like a visual level on a just like, you know, story impact level 
and a creativity level because Ava is a fully original show, even if it gets its ideas from lots of different places. Um, you know, the iconography is so specific and that's why it's been so enduring. So, like, it's not just that Ava is, you know, had a, more of an impact. It's that it deserved to have more of an impact because of how powerful it was while being completely original. Karakano is, you know, for one thing, it's couched in real life. It doesn't have a mythology. It doesn't have, like, imagery outside of... Um, you know, emotionally conveying real things that would happen to real people, which is good. I mean, the fact that it can capture that so well, and I think, you know, the way it captures emotions and heightens them is greater than Ava, and that's kind of what I meant when I made that comment that time, which was in between my two viewings of Ava, the two recent ones, um, I think, if, if I'm remembering correctly. So at that time, I was thinking about how, you know, on my rewatch of Kare Kano, just the 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 pure livelihood of every scene, the amount of thought put into just expressing every conceivable emotion, like every time, it's like as though every line of dialogue, Anno thought, what's the best visual representation for this line of dialogue? And that's the show we got. And so, you know, it's, it's almost even more entertaining than Ava in that sense. But what Ava does, what it's able to accomplish is just so like impactful to take in in full and to really look at all of it and to you know just think about how many images from it are so fucking iconic um so you know kare kano do i think it's a better show than ava i think that um you know notwithstanding the the lesser episodes at the end of the series um, which are still not bad those first eight, 18 episodes are like as good as they could possibly be at telling this story that is a great story a great romantic comedy in my opinion the best anime romantic comedy um but Ava is something wholly unique you know it doesn't really bear I mean it, there's resemblance to other things especially to the things that influenced it and to things that you know were were made in its image afterwards but like um you know it's such a unique package that in spite of how much stuff there is that should be compared to it, you really can't compare anything to it because nothing is quite like it.